now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. All right, let's compare the sky here at the Outback Lift Line from what we were looking at last night. I do remember we had some clouds, but it did not seem like it was going to be this much. Although we did look at clouds at different parts of the region, we are mostly cloudy again tonight, whether you're looking at the Outback Lift Line, whether you're looking at the Bend Airport camera or here at Black Butte Ranch. Look at all those beautiful clouds along the skyline. We're anticipating that these clouds are here to stay for several days because we have a system coming in that we're just beginning to see the impacts of it and that is of course the rain that you can see to our north the clouds that are coming through do not be surprised if you do have a few sprinkles fall tonight because there is still a chance showing for a few showers specifically cascades higher elevations tomorrow that chance increases slightly and then Saturday that's when the activity is really supposed to bring it home for us and then we start clearing out Sunday into Monday here's where we are with our temperatures a bit warmer in the the Redmond area for us today. The whole state in the coolest that we see right there is out at Newport at 63, but we're in the 60s, 70s, and then even the 80s, 87 in Medford, toasty warm. This should be our warmest day with some stronger winds. We're talking about this, that we could see winds pick up in the afternoons, 15, 20 miles per hour with gusts. That's definitely what we are seeing in Redmond, expecting these winds to actually stay with us today, tonight, calm down for a bit, and then pick back up again tomorrow. We're finally starting to see the leading edge of this trough coming into the Pacific Northwest. So here's where we are today going in tomorrow and you see that ridge moves up. But once we go from Friday into Saturday, we start to see this creeping down and we're starting to get within that part of the jet stream in those upper levels. When we get into Saturday, Sunday, this is when you'll see the activity here. Not seeing too much. We're about 10 o'clock tonight. You can see there's some showers along the Cascades and about one right there. Going overnight, you'll see just some clouds. And then here we are starting to see a few showers there. Those pick up for you. We're by 6 a.m. on Friday. Then we start to see them fill in even more. And here we are 12 p.m. Friday into Saturday. You can see the yellow places. We have some heavier rain there. Things break up for us just a bit as we get into the evening. Now we're getting to around 11 o'clock Friday night showers start filling in but wait until we get into Saturday because you'll start to see that chance increasing as we get into the later part of the afternoon and then we start to clear out so hopefully everything will be okay for graduations and events this weekend but just be expecting a few showers and thunderstorms here are your current temperatures low 70s to upper 70s maybe even the low 80s very warm night overnight tonight with all the clouds and the warmth that we have we'll see it stick around temperatures low 50s to low 60s that's about 10 degrees warmer than we were last night Tomorrow, temperatures again similar to today, mid upper 70s to low 80s. We do not really see the temperatures back off until we get to Sunday. And there you can see a chance for some showers for us again. As we go into Monday, things start to back off, but temperatures don't start warming until Tuesday.